Yo, 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 what's up my dudes? We're gonna be playing some Orlog today here in Valhalla and I want to show you guys my build. Uh, this is a very advanced build. This is not a beginner build. You can see I've been playing Orlog quite a bit because I've unlocked almost all of the tokens, if not all of the tokens. But the build I'm gonna be using today is Thor's Strike, which is the first totem you actually get where you deal uh, damage for power after the resolution phase. Uh, I like dealing uh, 5 damage for 8 power, that's like the best deal you get with that. Odin's Sacrifice, where after the resolution phase, sacrifice any number of your health tokens and gain power per health token sacrificed. And Edun's Rejuvenation, where you heal health after the rejuvenation phase. So, hopefully you guys know how to play Orlog. This is not a how to play Orlog video. This is a uh, best, in my opinion, I don't know about, uh, it's hard to say whether or not it's the best because there's so many combinations you can get. Uh, but this is my favorite build um so hopefully like i said you guys know how to play orlog we want to go for this build right for the power we need power we have to generate as much god favor or power or gold whatever you want to call it as soon as possible so you can see i'm picking all of the gold uh laced uh, uh dice so that i'm generating gold so i actually got lucky here and got a full hand of power which is six uh, they also, they only got like two power. They did not generate hardly any power there, so that's going to bite them in the butt. Uh, and they stole one of mine. So I still ended the first round with a full stack of gold or power, favor, whatever you want to call it. You'll probably hear me call it each of those throughout the video. So uh, yeah, that's okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I still want to generate gold because our goal is to get to 10 gold as soon as we can. Um, now I'm not tripping. I do want to grab everything. I don't care if it's attack or defense. Everything that's laced with gold is going to generate me some gold, so I'm going to grab those. And it's okay if you find a hand that's not going to generate gold, because it will steal a gold, so it's basically like generating one. Gold hands are all the better, because they basically generate two while taking one from the enemy. But uh, anyway, so let's see what we got here. Um, I'm producing one, two, three, four. I'm going to have enough for Odin's Sacrifice by the end of this round. All you need is to have ten power by the end of the round. You see I have five, but by the end of the round, I'm going to have ten so you want to make sure they're not going to steal any from you and that that, that is actually going to work sorry i'm talking so fast this is all happening really fast uh i've basically selected the amount of health stones that i want to sacrifice each one of those are going to give me five power so two stones make up for the ability uh, i always sacrifice nine stones to get a full thing here, or close to it you know what's i mean what's four uh power difference you know you're not going to hurt over the extra four power that we would have gotten from an extra stone but if you want to sacrifice 10 do your thing just make sure you don't sacrifice enough that's going to get you killed because if do. they are anything like this guy and are holding odin's strike or not odin's strike, thor's strike sorry uh they could actually if they had enough power right now if they had eight power they could deal five damage to me and i'd be done for so you got to watch out for thor's strike thor's strike is literally the worst enemy that is the worst counter to this build uh, so right off on the, so this is the round right after uh, the sacrifice so on the round right after the sacrifice you're not healed yet our goal is to get healed but until then you see all the dice I rolled were defense dice you need to be on defense because right there I mean we're vulnerable right now we have low health we have five health right so uh, they, you know if they bombard you with attack or even get a couple of hits in and then do four strike where they uh, they hurt you for five I, I'd be done there right so defense 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 now you see i healed with edun's rejuvenation there so i got six stones back for 10 power 10 power being nothing because i have a whole lot and uh, at this point i'm healed i'm feeling good i'm going to go in for the offense but keep in mind that our offense is going to be a little bit different for this build compared to the way somebody might actually go on to the offensive with any other build because we have four strike so the way i go into uh, the offensive phase is to play nothing but defensive die now you can see here i didn't really get very good of a hand i actually only got like three pieces of defense uh, but two of which were actually uh, did their job and block so that's cool but uh yeah so we have total of, like a whole bunch of power we're gonna go in for the biggest thor strike that we can which is uh 10 power for uh, or uh, sorry i think it's 12 power actually for eight damage we're gonna hit them hard and he just did the same thing to me so he wasted uh, oh, it's hard that. to say that he wasted but he used all of his uh favor so he's not looking so good right now he's got four health and three favor i've got three health uh 25 favor and a healing totem so uh, we can either heal our way out of this or go in for the offensive with thor strike depending on what he plays but no matter what i'm just gonna keep uh 
I'm going to keep playing defensively here. There's no reason for me to keep up with gold generation at this late in the game. Uh, so I'm just going to hit him hard. I'm going to go full defense, make sure he doesn't hit me for anything. It doesn't look like he's actually going to have enough favor to use his Thor's Strike again. So I should be in the clear. I shouldn't have to heal here. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this guy off with a good old 8 damage, 12 power ability here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but uh, this is GG. So, yeah, hopefully this helped you guys understand uh, kind of like the more advanced build of... Orlog. I know it's not your typical way to play, but I named it the Warlock build because it well reminds fought. me a lot of playing as a Warlock in World of Warcraft. I mean, in uh, Hearthstone. So, yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys Another are able to kick perhaps. ass in Orlog. So good luck out there, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.